What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. It is your boy, that guy, the dry nude here, coming at you guys with the long awaited aim guide for modern warfare 3 on mouse and keyboard first of all i'm going to go over some settings and then we're going to hop into a private match and i'm just going to give you guys some basic concepts when it comes to this game and how to uh, improve your aim and compete with uh, aim assist uh, players out there so the first thing you want to do is you're going to go into your settings and these are the kids and the fam that are playing on uh relative um i have a five in game sensitivity and my dpi is 800 i also run a monitor coefficient of zero i don't run the uh, mouse filtering because uh there it only really works with um legacy and i don't like legacy i like relative and i also have a zero monitor coefficient and this really does help out with the snaps with the aim and being overall consistent it's going to feel really slow at first but once you guys get used to it i promise you you are going to have a better experience. Uh, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna come down to your class setup. So we're gonna to go to our weapons and this is the MCW that I use to uh, practice my aim. These are the attachments I'm running currently. And uh, the main thing with this gun, if we go into the firing range, you can see the recoil. I'm just gonna sit that here and then just fire the weapon. It pretty much has a straight vertical recoil. So all you're gonna do is just pull down ever so slightly, and then you're just gonna have a nice tight group when you're using this gun. I like to show off the recoil because it's literally just a straight pull down for a nice tight, uh, boom. For a nice tight, uh, you know, spray pattern. Okay, and it doesn't kick that much. There's hardly any bullet deviation. You can see it sways a lot with the, um, the reticle, but that's not too bad because you can still, you know, correct and be right on target. Now, the next thing that I want to go over is basically the class setup, the general class setup that I run, and that is the assault gloves because I like jumping around a lot, and this really does help out um, when it comes to actually winning gunfights when you're jumping because you notice sometimes when you jump your uh your weapon kind of goes off target and it's really annoying so i kind of run that i run the covert sneakers um for the gear uh eco padding uh i really don't care too much i'm running the engineer vest but usually i always run ghost and then i run uh the mac holster uh because right now it doesn't seem like bone conductor really works when hearing footsteps is not as like loud as it is in the beta so i just like fast hands so i can reload quickly and then i have two tacticals which i usually run stem to heal real fast in the ammunition box okay so now we got that we're in private match we're going to go to uh the map we're going to go rust okay free for all and then this is how you add bots uh also before we even get into that you're going to go to your game setup and then you want your time limit to be on the highest possible so 45 and then for the points i usually keep it at like a thousand and then i would train for about 30 minutes in game before i stream to warm up input swap allowed and that's pretty much it everything else is default now this is how you add bots you just come down underneath your name and you just go and uh bot difficulty recruit and then you can add all the way up to 30 bots which is absolutely insane i guess 31 bots but i currently like to have it around 15 bots so i can spawn in and then just you know go in and actually run around and shoot so that's pretty much what I do. Now, the next thing that we're going to go over is how to actually, you know, run around and move and shoot in the game. Because it's a little different than last year's Call of Duty. We don't have that sprint to fire delay because we can actually slide cancel in, in this game. And I have automatic tax sprint on. Um, some people don't like it, but I currently like it because I'm always moving around. Um, so this is what you're going to want to do. Pay attention to my hands. I stay ads and I micro correct, right? Um, not warmed up, but uh, pretty much all you're gonna do is stay ads because you're always gonna have more people. This is just the, to get used to the settings, okay? Stay ads, jump around, and try to, you know, shoot different bots, everything you see on screen. Stay ads, and this is just to get used to the ads sensitivity. 
it's kind of hard to do this while talking, but you notice how I'm just staying ADS. I got my ammo box. Gonna hit that. Stay ADS. I see a target here. I see a target here. I see a target there. Flick to them. See a target behind me. I was able to kill four targets. Oh, by the way, the bots are on recruit. But just t pay attention. Like this is how you're gonna dial in your sensitivity and your settings because your hip fire sensitivity is a little faster than your uh, ADS sensitivity, right? And that just goes down to like the magnification. See how it zooms in just a little bit, right? That just comes down to the magnification of your sight. And then, you know, practice on different elevations. And also guys, take those hard shots, right? Like the guys right there, a guys right here, take those hard shots. Take those long range hard shots because you could see like, it's just so easy to stay on target, especially with these guns. So pretty much, yeah, that's it. You just go around, practice shooting, um, practice on your snaps, practice on staying ADS because in this game, you're gonna get killed by one or two people, right? Or one or two people are always going to be there. So there's going to always be uh, more enemies right in front of you, right beside you, right behind you. So uh, also another tip, pay attention, like in your peripheral, I'm going to snap. And the reason how I knew where he was, was as soon as I got shot at that little uh, arrow, like above, you see it right now, that little blood arrow, I guess you could say, tells you right where the enemy's at. And, uh, that's just how I know where to snap when I'm getting shot at, right? Also, the minimap, I can see where people are because uh, of traditional Call of Duty minimap, which is really nice. So just work on your flicks. Another uh, thing you could do while you're doing this, while you're warming up, is practice flicking like multiple flicks. So look at the time to kill. Okay, that's how long it takes me to kill this person. So it's going to take me about same i could flick and i know about how long it takes to kill somebody now sometimes in multiplayer it's super inconsistent but that all has to do with just the connection and uh packet burst that we are all getting and don't worry it's really annoying but like right there, that flick that I did to the second, to the third guy right here, I know exactly where he was gonna be. Also, another uh, big tip, keyboard aim. If you're slightly off target, like when you flick, you could you move your keyboard slightly, or WASD, whatever one, however you use it. Uh, you could move slightly and be kind of perfect. Uh, so I guess it's keyboard aim, it's hard to explain, but you're just pretty much just keeping your sight where it's at and you're just moving your keyboard to uh, make those micro adjustments, right? When you're shooting, it's really easy because like, you can move around and like say you're slightly off target. Well, see like right there, I just moved and was able to get him, the bot. So that's another tip and trick. And yeah, there's not too much like different from uh, Modern Warfare uh, 2. Uh, besides like you don't have that much visual recoil and like you barely need to pull down like right there It's so easy to see like your targets So this game is pretty simple. Uh, it's pretty I think it's easier than other Call of Duties That's why they cranked the skill-based matchmaking up because uh, it's not too difficult to play this game uh, Especially with the low visual recoil like no recoil on your guns, which is fine and uh, the time to kill which is sometimes fast, but as long as you're shooting the upper body, it's, you could like, like right there, I literally melted that guy. Literally melted. Ran out of bullets. So, uh, this game is pretty simple, pretty easy. <coughs> uh, and also another thing, um, the last tip I can give you guys, you can snake kinda in this game. So it's the same snaking uh, process as uh, Modern Warfare 2, which all I do is sprint forward sprint forward then i press my s and my crouch button right so I, I i go down and i sprint forward and it's pretty much just me pressing s and c back and forth so whatever your uh prone button is right c is my prone button 
I go to prone, I sprint, prone, and you can kind of just do that, right? So you can snake in this game pretty easy, and it's not too hard. And you can pair that with like the, I believe it's the boots. Let me see. Right here, the tactical pads, which if you put these on, you guys are going to see. You can really snake. It's way faster. Drop shotting and everything. It's really good. Which sometimes when you do this and you try it, it doesn't work right after a slide. So you can't slide and then go to the drop shot. You're like stuck there. You gotta like, I don't even know. Press it after. Yeah, yeah, like spam, spam it. But you guys get the get the idea. You could snake, you can crouch walk or crab walk, however you want to call it. It's it's really simple. So all it is is just just me pressing my sprint key, and then I press S and C. C is my prone key, and it just allows me to insta prone, insta drop shot, and it's just a skill that you just really need. So practice your snaking on mouse and keyboard because it looks really ridiculous and it helps out. Like I'm seeing that guy, see, like it's absolutely insane. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, just keep practicing in the private match and then go into an actual match. Uh, and that will help you guys out a lot. As always guys, remember stay blessed and stay humble. Um, and you know, stay positive. Hopefully they fix the mouse input in this game. Because right now it's just really bad and it just it kind of sucks so um but with the zero monitor coefficient and with the relative hopefully uh it makes your aim you know feel somewhat better also like i said if you're playing on a high dpi don't do it in this game because it just feels weird it feels like you're pixel skipping almost and it just does not feel Good. As always, guys, I'm going to say about Sambo. Now I'll take you in another video. Peace.